Hi there, I'm Santosh Singh and welcome to Android Developer Mastery. So in this part we are going to talk about calculator app with butter knife. So let's move on. So this is the design based on linear layout which has orientation vertical and it contains one text view with four sublinear layouts with orientation horizontal and each of them have four buttons so that is the thing and in additionally we have a menu item clear icon here to clear text view values so let's move how to implement this thing in android studio start a new android studio project and name it next select api 16 select empty activity by default and just finish now just open your activity main xml file and start fastly to build this design so just change this constant layout into linear orientation vertical and remove this redundancy from here as always i do first we need text view that's why i not uh, remove this thing and uh, just change the property with match parent name it id text view give it it a padding like a 20 db and add text size 24 db so now we need to add a linear layout for match parent width and uh, here we need to set height 0 db why because we need to add a special property weight and set this weight into 1 as you can see linear layout here cover everything like that we need four linear layouts first second third and four that's it and add in four button here we change width 0 dp and height match pattern and add weight 1 so why I change this width because I need four buttons in a horizontal level so just add four buttons as you can see it is set automatically and that is awesome so just copy this thing and paste in every linear layout so that's it our design is complete and now we need to add numbers into it seven eight nine four five six and so on and that's it actually I follow basic standard rules of string implementation that's why I put this at the data string you also add this thing like one or two but I try to give you full example with how to add strings that's it so just put this thing here and add number one copy as you can see it has uh, in a strings of uh, one just copy this thing paste so as you can see I add numbers and the operator strings in a string in strings XML file so I need seven copy paste eight and so on you need to implement this thing as you can see I add everything but I don't like to uh, put every property in each of them so that's why I change this thing into style and call this style for particular widgets such as linear layout we don't like to add this linear layout all property here and just copy and create a new style that's it so this is thing implemented in every linear layout and after that we need to call this thing into linear layout style linear layout horizontal and we copy this style into it every linear layouts and also we create four button style especially button number buttons and operator buttons so let's design this thing So that's it and add this style into a number button just delete this thing and copy this style and paste in every number 
that is our design of these buttons and I add in linear layout style for linear layout that is the style and also we have uh, buttons so in every linear layout we have uh, three buttons in number 789 and fourth is part of operators so that's why I change the operators button style so why I choose this because I change this operator button design differently with others now we are going to add our background so just click drawable and as I already told you in previous video create a drawable file and name it background I just put my previous uh, shape design a uh, shape and design a shape in a rectangle that's it and uh, call gradient choose your need for design one so that's it we can set our design but we need to add this angle into 90 and just we have done this thing and now we need to add this background into linear layout base linear layout so background call travel ball background and that's it come here but we have a problem here and uh, button not transparent I need to change this button in transparent so why I add styles because I need to change in every every button in a single way so that's it so just add in a number called background item Android background remember Android background not a background so this we have a two properties here background and Android background when you use background without Android colon it not works so you need to add this thing before background and call uh, default Android and color transparent so this is the default color so this is the default color of color so we don't need to create this color into colors and uh, let's check it now we have uh, this numbers part is very well and just put this thing in a different color so we need to create a different color here just copy and paste this thing and change this name into color and change this color design into you know, dark sorry dark and like that that's it and call this color into your operator transparent that's it we have everything right here just we increase the font size and uh, white uh, text color to see uh, to see it clearly so just put this thing into a style one uh, two property two more property we need to add here first item at 24 dp color white and paste it both sides that's it one more thing text size now we have all set so this is the design we achieved based on our required design but i don't like this header so i just change this prime recolor into this color and now we can see a design is changed so that's it and now we implement our menu bar that is missing here so whenever we wanna add a menu we just call a new text and call a android resource and just set resource type in a menu and name your xml menu file name so name it menu and ok here and here it is our menu code so just put uh, item title and add the title like clear id clear icon actually we don't have any icon so we need to create icon so whenever we wanna create this icon just click new and go back to asset select icon menu and just type here clear and this is the icon ok next finish and just call this icon here at the drawable clear icon this is and we need to add one more thing show action always 
so this thing appear now but it is black so I do I want to change it into white so just click and open it and just click here and change this design in white choose this thing as you can see white it is white now and shows white so that's it we implement our design but it not appear here when we click activity main it not show here so what's going on here uh, first thing is that uh, menu connect with activity xml file through java so we need to implement our java uh, menu on create option menu so just go code and select generate and uh, create your override method and select here on create option menu so this is option menu and just click here so we have an option menu so remove this thing and select return in a true before that we need to add a get inflator menu inflator put inflator inflate and pass the menu uh, design and with this sub this object menu that's it our menu is ready to connect with that when we run this app it shows here so let's check it we have a cross sign menu bar so that's it so now we have achieved our design so let's move on uh, second part